Welcome to another Eric Waite Whiskey Study. In this video, we're going to review another whiskey from Tasmania, Australia. This is the Lark Distillery Single Mold Whiskey. This is cask strength, a bottle at 58% alcohol by volume or 116 proof. In my previous video, I did a review of the Lark Single Cask Single Malt Whiskey. This one's bottled at 43% alcohol by volume. But before I get into this whiskey, I wanna share with you a, a clip from a really well done three part documentary on scotch done by the BBC. Uh, this is from the third part of the documentary in which they go to Australia and exploring the impact of scotch whiskey around the world and we get a glimpse of Lark Distillery. Australia, and specifically Tasmania, with sprawling hills, thick clouds and crashing sea, this could easily be Scotland. Across the bay from me is the charming city of Hobart, nestling at the foot of Mount Wellington. And on this captivating island, it cradles 14 distilleries with more on the way. In fact, it's the heartbeat of the Australian whiskey industry, a growing power to behold. This is Lark Distillery, the cherished creation of Bill Lark, godfather of Australian whiskey. Chris, in many ways, we couldn't be further from Scotland. We're on the other side of the world in the beautiful island of Tasmania, and here, you have something like 14 distilleries in production and you're developing at least another half dozen. Are you the cheeky young upstarts of the whiskey industry? I think you could call us a bit of a, a larrikin bunch. <laughs> <laughs> we, we love our whiskey and we've discovered that uh, Tasmania is a great place to make it. So we're doing our utmost to produce a good drop for the world. Well, you've been very successful. A few of them have been winning world awards, haven't they? Yes, we've been very fortunate, uh, both in uh, England and also in the US. We've won a number of awards, um, and that's really encouraged us to keep doing what we're doing and to focus on the quality. We're, we're trying to make really quality whiskey, um, and our volumes are not great. So it's about quality, not quantity. When Bill Lark uh, wanted to start a whiskey distillery, there'd been no commercial whiskey distillery in Australia for 153 years. Federal law had made it impossible for small distilleries to operate. So before he could even start, he had to change government federal law to get his license. And so we are actually the first licensed commercial distillery in Australia. Lark operates on a far smaller scale than most distilleries in Scotland. It's so ditchy in size. I mean, if you compare this to something like the Macallan, I love the size, it's whiskey in miniature. And they're taking over the world, the bastards. Craig, a Scotsman, and Chris, a native, are distillers here. I'll be honest, I got here 18 months ago and, and I walked into the place and I thought, where's the rest of the distillery? It's, it's tiny, the scale is, is crazy. I mean, we talk about handcrafted back in Scotland and you're talking 250, 300,000 litres. Here we make 120 litres a day, so we can actually handcraft everything at the distillery. We ferment different to, to back in Scotland. and We make all of our cuts here by how the, the spirit tastes. We've got a, a longer fermentation than, than you'd have at most places back home. Um, we've got seven days, but really the big one for us is coming to the end of fermentation based on how it tastes. We'll actually open the lids and let the natural bacteria from the vineyard up the road into the, the ferments, and that sours up the, the Of course, the wash. you have the bacteria in the air already. So... Because you're surrounded. This is, this is vineyard country, isn't it? Absolutely. So Frogmore, our, our pals up the road, make some of the best wine here, some of the best pinots in, in Tasmania, and we get all the benefit from that culture and from those yeasts and bacteria. 
So the whiskey that you guys have created, when will it be ready for sale? We're looking at about a, a six, six to seven year maturation in quarter cask. So something Tassie has is we have this really unique climate where we have a huge temperature variation from two or three degrees uh, up to about 40 degrees. And what happens is that fluctuates every day and the pressure fluctuates every day. And that really drives the spirit in and out of the wood and, and drives that angel share. So we've got a really quite a high angel share here, seven degrees. Our strength usually goes up, so we might get a spirit So what out. percentage would you lose every year? About 7%. 7%, 7 every, year. every year. Guys, I've said that Tasmanian whiskey, and you're winning the awards, the whiskey awards around the world, you're the cheeky young upstarts. <laughs> How much debt do you owe to the Scotch whiskey industry? So much, so much. I don't think the industry here would be in any strength without the year on year on year on year help from the, from the Scottish industry. Um, we've been so lucky that the generosity, we talked before about that sense of community. It's not a community uh, in Tasmania or Hobart or Australia or Scotland or Japan. It truly is this global, global community and you really feel that. Like you go to Scotland and you ask the question and you get a genuine passionate answer. Yeah, we're indebted to the, indebted to the Scottish industry. This place wouldn't be what it is without Scotland. We are essentially living the Australian version of what Glenlivet was in 1850. And I think if you said to any distiller back in Scotland, you know, if you could go back to 1850 and work in Glenlivet and see how things started, would you take that choice? Every single one of them would. We are still mashing in by hand with a paddle here. We've essentially brought whisky forward into the 1800s at Lark. <laughs> um, so to, to be in this position, but also then be able to, to call on the the history and, and the mistakes that have been made by the Japanese and the Scots and the, the, the Americans and their whiskey making process puts us in a, a unique position. You know, we've got hundreds of years of experience to call upon and then we can then create our own story from that. There are stories that people expect to see when they buy into a whiskey. Um, so in Scotland we're, we can sometimes be a little bit trapped by that and that's how people get to love this stuff. On the other you've got you know, countries and the rest of the world that are now making whiskies and can almost sometimes be a bit more creative in, in how they come about that and, and the sort of offering they can present. The competition element I think is brilliant because any good athlete or performer is going to say your best performances come when you're under the most pressure. So you know we're kept on our toes by uh, the growth around the world but I think that's a, a pretty good thing. We've talked for a long time about what is whisky, it's an experience, it only becomes whisky once someone puts in their glass they, and they, they drink it, they experience with their mates. It's on the most important days of your life that you drink whiskey. Some people, it really is on the most important days and they choose to share that with you as, as distillers, as people that get to be the caretaker of, of a, a distillery or a process. And that's what it's about. It's about understanding that if you're not spot on your game every day, then you're not doing justice to that person that got that bottle for their wedding, for their bucks or maybe for their divorce or to commiserate over a, a loved one's death. That's what drives, that's what drives that get better, get better, get better. And that's what, what whiskey's about, you're right, it's about people. It's always, a bit, always been about people, it's about community and people and um, you can't help but love, love the spirit because the people are wonderful. Wow, Chris, that's the most beautiful poetic description. I've ever had. All right, I hope you enjoyed that little clip. That's from a three-part series available on Amazon Prime. Um, but before getting into this whiskey, here are my notes on this whiskey. The Lark Cast Strength Tasmanian Single Malt Whiskey was made from a local Tasmanian Highland slightly peated barley. It is double distilled in the heart of the Cold River Valley, matured in a port cask, cask number 762. It is labeled by hand and bottled at cast strength at 58% alcohol by volume. Alrighty, let's get into it. It is sort of a golden copper in color on the nose. Wow, it is really, really sweet. Medium plus to high intense aromas of a lot of honey, caramel, butterscotch, vanilla, toffee, uh, grilled apples with cinnamon, apple pie. Wow, this is just a really big and intense, very sweet on the nose whiskey on the palate. Mm. Mm. 
Well, on the pop, the nose is confirmed. It is very sweet, very intense and concentrated flavors of a lot of honey, caramel, butterscotch, apples with cinnamon, apple pie, a little bit of peach character, peach cobbler, really, really delicious, a little bit of maltiness. I had this the other night after dinner and I put it on ice and dropping the temperature on it made this whiskey almost seem like um, a French vanilla ice cream covered with honey and butterscotch. Absolutely delicious and dropping the temp temperature did not reduce the flavors. An absolutely phenomenal whiskey. It's early in the year, but this is already a contender for my top 10 for 2019. There's gonna be a lot of competition uh, with this one uh, in 2019. I'm gonna give this a solid 94 points. Absolutely phenomenal. I wanna thank Tamar for gifting me with this bottle as well as this one that I reviewed in the previous video. Absolutely spectacular uh, whiskey. It's definitely in the dessert category. So it's, it's when you're in the mood for something sweet. Uh, but I absolutely love it. All right, if you subscribe to this channel, I want to thank you very much. If you haven't yet subscribed, but you like watching my videos, I would greatly appreciate it if you would subscribe. Give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, and other social networking channels. Until next time, cheers. Hey, if you like my review, be sure to check out these other whiskey videos.